oftentimes I end up getting asked by people, what or who motivates me? And I normally always say no one. I just have my own goals. But to be honest, that is a lie. I say that because I don't want to show weakness. I don't want to put myself out there and let people know exactly what or who it is that inspires me. My inspirations aren't conventional. I don't look up to anybody. However, I do take example and model my life after some people. Model my life and my actions after what I see other people do. And, you know, what brings them happiness, what brings them success, what brings them love and joy. Um, in this case, what motivates me stems back from a while ago. What I have been doing YouTube for, I started it as an escape. I, to not to get into details, but I didn't really have the greatest home life, although I love my mom to the fullest. Like, my mom is the greatest person I have ever known in my life, the things that she has gone through. But, <clears throat> but my dad is um, another story. I often told him, um, you are, he wanted to be an inspiration to me. Unfortunately, my dad isn't the greatest, and I don't have the best relationship with him. I always told him, you are an inspiration to me. You are a perfect example of the person I don't want to be. Is that a little mean? Yeah, it is. Admittedly, it is. But it's also something that has motivated me. I never saw him as a person that a lot of people really looked up to. Never saw, never saw somebody who was inspired by him. I definitely am not inspired by him. But what he did do to me is let me know if I would act like him, if I would have partake in the things that he does, if I would have say the things that he does, my life really wouldn't matter, uh, amount to much. And that's not how I want to live my life. As I started getting into YouTube, I began it as an escape. You guys always said, PK, how did you get into YouTube? And I got into YouTube just as a way to have fun. It was, a, it was an outlet for me. It was something for me to do. It was a place for me to be. I made some friends, and I was able to continue playing the games that I wanted to um, play. However, more than just uploading, I was more of a viewer back then. One of the people I always looked up to, and one of the people I always watched, was Shaytards. I love the Shaytards. I still love them to this day. I watch their vlogs periodically. And when I was watching their vlogs, every day, every day, I said to myself, I wish my life was like theirs. Shay Carl seemed so fun, so happy, enjoying life. He enjoyed who he was. He had a beautiful wife. He has amazing kids. He has an awesome house. He has an amazing job. And I always wanted my life to be like his. I, I was looked up to and inspired by him. Not, not because of you know, anything he said or did. He was just him. But being him allowed him, uh, just like touched me in a way. And as I was watching, eventually, I began asking myself, if I want my life to be like his, why don't I just go about and make that happen? I can be, like, instead of being inspired, I can be that inspiration. Why can't I? Why don't I go out there and put my best foot forward, just be the best PK I can be, and see where it takes me? From that point on, that mentality has stuck with me. That was almost seven years ago. Seven years ago when I really started to put my best foot forward and try to find my way through this life. However, that has also led me to a lot of confusion. Because before then, I never really thought about life. I kind of just lived it. Maybe I'm thinking about it a little too much. But I really, my, my goal right now is to live my life to the absolute fullest and try to be an inspiration to other people, whether financially, whether spiritually, whether morally. 
I just want to be an inspiration to other people. I want people to be happy. I want to help people out. I want to push people forward. I want to be able to pull them forward. I got to get myself forward in order to bring them with me. Because everyone in this life, no matter what, at the end of the day, they're just trying to live the same life that I am. So I work hard to try and take a little pressure off of other people. Do I put a little too much on my own head? Maybe. I feel like I do that more often than not, and I end up putting myself into a situation where I have to disconnect myself from the world for a couple of days. <clears throat> I really do get involved with other people and involved in my situations. I want to get things done and move forward and ha hopefully have something to show from what I've just done. Not everything is done for monetary gain. A lot of things I do is just for the experience. I have no desire to really go out and get money. It's not really my thing. Um, I like Money is a means to an end. Money is security in this life. I want to have myself get to the point where I am making a surplus of money. I want like an extra million dollars a year. Like some, because uh, personally, I only want about a hundred thousand. Now that, that that does sound a lot. I understand that, but hear me out. I want to be able to put money aside for my kids so they can go to college. That is something I wish I had. I want to be able to make sure that I can pay my bills without worry. That is something that I struggle with even to this day, and I've seen my mom cry over at night. I don't want that. Speaking of my mom, I want my mom has worked hard all her darn life. I want to get to the point where I can pay her bills, where I can pay for her house, where I can buy her food, where I can pay for someone to make her food. Shoot, why? Why not? I want, my, I want to give my mom the luscious life possible. She has deserved it. I want to be able to pay for my family, have a, have a family, two or three kids, pay for, pay for my wife, and not have them worry about a single thing. That way they can focus on other aspects in life. Because the way I see it, when you have to worry about money just to make sure you live, you're, well, you're living, like you, ha you have a roof over your head, you have food to eat, you miss out on a lot. So if I can work and make that money, then they can focus on other things. They don't have to worry about where am I going to get this money? Where am I going to, you know, how am I going to be living the next day? It is covered. I got you. I want you to focus on making yourself a better person and making the world a better place. So I want to take care of my family so I can begin planting those seeds around the world. I want to open up a scholarship. Because again, that is something I wish I had. Again, to this day, I wish that I had the funds to just go to college. And it's only going to get worse as this life goes on. Life is expensive. It is so ridiculously expensive. And I hate it. Like, you can't move forward. It's the silliest thing. You have to put yourself in debt and be indebted your entire life just to get a job, just to get a college education, and you're still not guaranteed a job? I'm fortunate for YouTube because I'm able to make my own money. And I hope that YouTube can go to a point where, you know, I can start opening a business from this, where I can expand it and start giving other people a job. Because <clears throat> it's just... It's, it's really just frustrating to me how this life is. I don't care about money. I want enough to make myself comfortable, and then I will give it to the people that need it so that way they can do something. You know, pay it forward, as they say. I don't care about money. I want to open up a scholarship so I can give people who cannot afford college that opportunity. Give them a two-year scholarship so they can get their foot in the door at least. Give them a four-year. Give them an eight-year. I don't care. Just learn. Educate yourself and use that to better the world. That's, a, that's my end goal. By the time I leave this earth, I want to have a scholarship in place to where it transcends myself. Where it will be a mainstay forever. An opportunity for everybody, underprivileged or not. Who, is, who can get themselves forward. Because the worst excuse, but the most accurate excuse people have is that they can't afford it. They can't afford education. 
That that just doesn't make sense. I hate that. So, what inspires me? Making sure that I leave a positive mark on this world. I don't want my life to be just another one. I don't want to become a statistic. I don't want to be, you know, a head count. I don't want to be somebody who was just taking up, you know, government funded properties such as um, food stamps or whatnot. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Everyone's life is a little different. But I don't want to be that person. I want to be someone who leaves a positive atmosphere, who leaves a positive trail, who leaves a positive feeling on the world. I, I want to be somebody who, who is loved. I want to be somebody who inspires other people. I want my presence to stay around a little bit longer after you know I take my last breath. I want to be somebody, <laughs> I just want to be somebody, <laughs> to be honest, I just want to be somebody, and I want to be that person that's, where when you look back through his life, he lived it on his own terms, lived it his way, and helped, helped other people out so they can make their lives like something as well. That's, that's why I do what I do. And I always constantly try to innovate, try to make new things, try to work with different people, try to get new ideas, try to talk about new perspectives and different perspectives. Try, um, I, always, I am all for conversation. I want to learn. I want to learn. I want to make things happen. And I want to be a part of something big. And I want to create something bigger than myself. <laughs>